welcome to my classroom. This is Kaylin at Full Purpose and Heart, and today's video is going to be a little school room tour of um, kind of where I store things and how I have things that set up for our homeschool. Now, this is a very simple um, way or a simple system to do it. This is like your classic video of bloom where you're planted or make do with what you have because in my dreams I would love to have an actual school house like in my backyard that we could go to. Actually, I would love to have like a little walkway that like went from one over the house anyway. Okay, so I have huge dreams of having this like fun little school house and, and a fun school, but my my life doesn't allow for that to be right now. So our school room is in the common space. It's in the loft upstairs. And then I use a couple of closets that are nearby for some storage. So I'll head over here and show you kind of how we have it all laid out so that maybe it'll give you some ideas of how to work with whatever space that you have. Again, I would love to have like a whole bedroom that I could set aside as a classroom, but my house just doesn't allow for that right now. So here we go. Let me show you the stuff that we've got going on. So a very quick overview, let me just quickly show you all of the pieces here and then we'll look at each of them in detail. So over here on the left I have, this is just our storage for toys. Again, it's a common space, so we have all of our toys in the boxes here. And then each day before preschool starts or our school time starts, we try to like put everything haphazardly away. It's never like organized or nice, but there you go. Um, on the floor here, this gray folder is where I store all of my calendar pieces as well as some um, scripture story pieces, and I'll show you that in just a minute. This is just a map, just for looks. These are the alphabet that I got from Confessions of a Homeschooler here on the top, um, and it comes with her preschool letter of the week curriculum. This um, is just a board that has a whiteboard side and then a cork board side. I put my lesson plans on one side and then we have our calendar on the other. I'll show you that again. This is a whiteboard that shows our weekly, or excuse me, our daily schedule. Our work boxes are on the floor here. This is my son's work desk that he's using right now. Um, and it's working fine. We're, I have another one that is in the garage. I just haven't brought it upstairs yet. I keep saying I will, but I haven't. And then this space right here, this is my working station um, and cam the computer obviously that we do our computer work on. And then I will notice this is our most important filing cabinet down here, the trash can. Guys, I don't save very much of anything except for maybe like the lap books that my son does. A lot of the stuff I just put in the trash can because I can't save everything. So that's a very important. Okay, so I wanna show you really quickly some of the things um, in a little more detail. So like I mentioned, this is just a, Kate, a folder that I got at like Walmart or something. And inside I have, these are all of our calendar pieces um, and the months are back here. And then these are scripture stories that I have. And um, let me just quickly show you kind of what it is. So inside here I have pieces that actually tell the story from different Bible stories and scripture stories. And then I have up here, this is, um, this is a board that I got from Walmart. It has like a whiteboard and a cork board on one side. And then on this side, I've, I've created this. I put like felt down or flannel or whatever this is. And then I've, it, it's glued and then I duct tape the edges so that the pieces then um, go up on the board. So then I can tell the story or my son can tell the story. Um, whatever Bible story it is that we're talking about. So anyway, so that's kind of right next to the calendar because we will do it during group time and that's just a convenient way to place it. Um, here's our calendar. There's nothing exciting about that. I'll show you kind of up here. This is the whiteboard I talked about a little bit earlier and this is our week plan. Um, just We have three days of school, so these are what I put in each of the work boxes for their week, weekly plan. And then on the bottom here, if we have a field trip or we're going to the library or a friend is coming over or whatever, then I write that down there. This is just a printable that I got. I, I'm pretty sure it was free from Miss Kindergarten on the internet, and I just liked it, so I colored it. And then each day that we complete preschool and his online program, I put I colored in. And then I usually will write how many hours we spent during school. This is just so that I can log our hours at the end of the year. Um, this is an achievement chart that he gets for his computer program and they will mail him a medal depending on how 
frequently he was um, online. So this is our, this is just a whiteboard that I have um, our daily schedule on. Our daily schedule is the same every day, so I don't ever update it. I just change the top. I will write the date. Um, both, uh, I'll write the day of the week, so I'll write Monday, and then I'll write the date in number form so that my son can copy it in his notebook. Um, and then I made this chart or whatever, this little like poster, because we were studying the seasons, so now we just look at the seasons all the time. Um, I have lots of workbox videos of what I'm actually putting in my son's K4 work boxes or preschool work boxes, um, different activities that are around a different theme, so check those out if you haven't checked those out before, because they're really awesome. Okay, let me head over to the other side of the room and I'll show you how I store a few other things. Okay, so first I feel like I need to um, apologize. This is like real life, so I have this closet here, but it's a multi-use closet. Please just pay attention to the school stuff is in there because the other stuff's kind of messy, all right? Okay, so with that disclaimer, here is my school stuff in the middle shelf. Um, on this side here, I have, this is just a caddy that you get, whatever, at any office supply store or Walmart or whatever. On the top shelf is our daily, this is for like the whole week, I store the stuff that we're going to be putting in the work boxes for that week. And as I rotate through each of the work boxes, or the days, then I just grab the stack on top and distribute it through his work box. Um, these are um, curriculum that I had purchased and kind of divided out. This is from Confessions of a Homeschooler. This is her K-4 curriculum. And um, I haven't been using it very much this year, so it mostly just sits here. Um, this, is most, this is just an empty one. I have this here, but we don't use that. Um, construction paper and art supplies. These are some mazes that my son likes to do. They're in sheet protectors. Oh, let me show you. They're in sheet protectors so that um, he can do them over and over again and he uses a whiteboard marker and I kind of just switch those out. So these are two binders um, that I have all of the plans and curriculum that we're doing. So this is his preschool K-4 and this is mostly made up of confessions of a homeschooler curriculum that I have purchased. And this is his kindergarten, which I'm kind of starting to prep for next year. Um, and currently it holds the, the state standards of learning goals for kindergarten. And then I will, as I plan and prepare the curriculum, I'm gonna try to align it with these. So that's what I have in there. These are more printable, um, excuse me, these are scripture story pieces that I have to still organize. This is just stuff, really. Um, and then this whole section are my supplies and manipulatives for art, what have you. And there's just a bunch of various stuff and whatever. Basically, I just throw stuff there. Manipulatives. There, these are some letter magnets and garbage, really. Okay, here's another little art caddy, supply caddy. It just has, like, markers and pens and stuff like that. Um, we do salt writing a lot, so that's why there's salt there, and we'll put the salt in the tray. This is another storage bin I have. This is just for, like, decorations and stuff. And then we've been in this house for only six months, so these are boxes that I haven't actually unpacked, but they are school supplies. And this one here is our math manipulatives. I've shown this math game a couple of times that we do. Um, it's from Confessions of a Homeschooler, so I just have the whole kind of kit just thrown in that box because I haven't found a storage solution for it just yet. Um, this is more curriculum from Confessions of a Homeschooler, her K-4, and I, again, haven't been using it very much, so it mostly just sits there, and then these are folders for, like, lap books or storage or that sort of thing. So, anyway, so that's that, and then let me go across the hall, and I'll show you one other storage thing that I've got. Okay, again, this is real life, so you have to look past the water closet and all the other stuff that's in this closet, because, um... My house doesn't, I don't have one set space for school like I wish that I could, okay? So, here we go. This is our um, filing cabinet and where I store. So I put our, this is my uh, paper cutter, which I love, and I put it on top of there so I can come in here and cut. And then in the first file here is my colored paper, and this is all of the letter of the week um, curriculum from Confessions of a Homeschooler. And I have it all just kind of stored alphabetically and occasionally I will still pull from this even though we're not using this curriculum this year I still I really did love this curriculum I have done a, a curriculum review video so check that out if you haven't already and you can kind of see this is just a really inexpensive great letter of the week curriculum that I enjoyed because it had a lot of activities and not just like worksheets so that was that's just been really fun 
okay? And then down here I have, this is where I store a lot of just like school stuff, so projects and cards and whatever um, is back here. Anyway, so anyway, more storage is back here, just a regular filing cabinet. So there you have it, there's my classroom. Now again, it's not a whole lot, it's just a little space in our home. I, I, I wish that I could have a bedroom, but right now I can't. And as most of you probably are the same story, you know, we, we have these big grandiose dreams of what our homeschool room could look like, but we just bloom where we're planted and we make do with what we have. And, um, and it works good for us. It, might, it may not be very conducive when we have older children in our home, but uh, right now it's working really good. So anyway, hopefully you liked this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on that box down there if you liked the video. Leave a comment if you have something you wanna share. I always like hearing what my subscribers have to say. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Come along on this journey as we homeschool our kids and we just enjoy living with full purpose and heart. Have a good one, guys.